All right, uh, Coach, thank you very much for your time today. I really appreciate it. Uh, did, did you think then uh, that it, this would be the start of something special uh, in, in Brownsville after you guys won a title? Um, I thought about it before. Um, I remember that first, the first day of practice back in that last day of November. For some reason, we saw the kids so motivated. We saw the way they were playing. We saw the way they were getting along. We saw that they had, they had everything. They had the skills. They had the, the physique. Uh, they had the stamina, and on top of that, they had chemistry. So I remember back then in, in November, we coaches Pitya and some of the other coaches were talking about it, and we said that that was a very special group. And that, and I guess the motivation that came from playing district, and then the stuff that happened after um, in the playoffs and all that. So. I think that in itself came together at the end, and, and it was a, a very good result at the end. Yeah. Uh, did you ever imagine winning a title would have this type of impact on, on Brownsville like it has just the years later? I mean, it's been it's been 12 years since you uh, won the title, and and uh, you, you know, um, as Joshua uh, had said, you know, soccer's kind of exploded uh, in Brownsville ever since. Yes, I uh, I always I had that vision that. And I would I would would go to the tournaments, the final four tournaments, and I would I would always ask myself what what's uh, how come nobody from from the valley from Bronxville makes it over here? I mean, the yeah they're they're very good over there, uh, different style of soccer or whatever, but we're good too. And and the teams I saw over there, we could have competed with them anywhere. They could have come over here and, and maybe not even make it to the playoffs. So that was one of the questions that I've, I've always said. Uh, well, how, how come how come nobody has ever come over here and, and won a state championship? Um, when we saw the team, like I told you, like we saw them in December, and then I started thinking about the the other teams that I had seen before. I was like, we can go anywhere and, and beat anybody. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we were lucky or we blessed that we were the first ones. And and uh, after that, I guess uh, everybody everybody got the mindset that it can be done. And it, it's been proven that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Coach, uh, um, after you kind of won that title, I know you um, you just talked about uh, a few memories you have from that season and that team. What what is what is uh, probably one of your fondest memories of that team or, or um, some of your players uh, that that played on that team? Fondest memory, uh, I would say, having a kid score a goal uh, at the semifinal game when the game's tied two two and. We're coming from behind. We're, uh, we're down 2-0, and then we had a kid, uh, Rudy Noriega Rodolfo, who had uh, played very, very few minutes throughout the season, and um, it was one of those ga those games and those plays that out of uh, out of the nothing we had a, an injury, and it was on a set play for us. And since uh, Rudy's tall, we said, you know what, let's put Rudy maybe. He can help us hit the ball or, or win a ball for, for us, a rebound or whatever. And that was one of those moments because when we did the play, the ball just went, uh, it passed everybody else. And, and Rudy was there uh, on, on the far post and out of the nothing, Rudy gets the ball, he kills the ball with the chest. And before the ball get, hits uh, the ground, he he volleys it and the ball goes the ball goes in, in the net and that was that was one of those moments where you say, Well, what just happened? And when he scored uh, I, I remember him him pointing to heaven, so that was another thing. His father had just passed away a few weeks earlier, so that was one of those moments for me. All right, Coach, thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it. You're welcome. All right, Coach, thank you very much for your time today. I really appreciate it. Uh Coach, you were an assistant uh, on that Lopez title team and, and you led Porter uh, to a title um, this past season. What were some of the similar uh, similarities and some of the differences uh, between those two teams and, and uh, those uh, two postseason runs? Uh, well, when, uh, when I was at Lopez, uh, it, had never been done, been, it had never been done before. And, um, you know, once we started, we, we had that. And, uh, you know, by, by the end of the, uh, this year, we had a, an incident with one of our players being declared ineligible. So I remember when I was up with that, that we lost six points. So Porter ended up being the district champion, and we had been we were undefeated, and we ended up losing two games, and which put us down to second place. 
So we talked about it and it was we were bummed about it, remember, but we took it as a motivation. Our motivation was to uh, go out there and try to win every single game and hoping that Porter would win every game so that we could face Porter again because uh, mm -hmm. uh, we, we we thought and we knew that that, that district champion belonged to us. Uh, so that was our motivation. That was a drive throughout the postseason. Uh, and it, we ended up making it to the regional final. And I, I believe it was for the first time in the history that it was a regional final that was going to be played in Bronzeville. Okay. So we flipped for it and we won the flip against Porter. At, to play at Lopez, so it was such an intense game. It was packed. I remember there was a, the, the Lopez field was packed. It was full. Mm -hmm. uh, so we ended up fighting for that state ticket practically, and we we defeated. We ended up defeating Porter one to nothing with a goal a goal from uh, Enrique Rivera. And when we made we made it to stay, it was something new to us, right? And we were playing against a very good El, pa El Paso team, very similar to what we faced this year. Mm. Uh, and we were down two to nothing, and I remember we were talking during halftime, and the kids just they weren't playing the way they, they knew how to play. So we talked about it, and and we did tell them in, in halftime, like you know, that was, remember you guys were have been asking why there's very few Bronzo teams that make it this far, and because of this, because we make it or we make it to the regional finals, and and we forget how to play. We 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 stop playing the way we know how to play. We forget. That we know how to play so okay, we can compete against these teams and so it was a motivation serving as a motivation the kids kind of um, woke up came out and um, in the second half we tied the game we ended up winning uh, three to two against el paso del valle remember uh -huh. and then we had we had two injured players and you know it was so many adversities with two injured players one of them was sick and to his stomach and luckily the the final was postponed uh, mm -hmm. So it gave us a week to recover and to prepare for the for the final. We ended up playing at a neutral site, which was Cabinets Field in Corpus Christi. Uh, we were at 100%, so motivated, and we knew we were playing a a, a Brennan team that was like 34 and two, number mm -hmm. two in the nation. Uh, nobody practically gave us a chance, uh, but our, our our boys believed it. They they knew mm -hmm. that you know they they just believed that they that they could do it. And we ended up winning that game two to nut, two to one against Brenham, and bringing home the first state title for for the Valley, and well not for the Valley but for soccer in yeah. Bronzeville. And um, so I think that, and I keep saying it, that opened the doors to everyone because I remember I, we would I would always read the previews before soccer season, and you know the goal was always to make it to regionals, and it was rarely like. You, you wouldn't you wouldn't hear anything about state mm -hmm. anything nothing was mentioned about that so I remember after that season I, I remember reading with the previous afterwards and it was going to state everyone wanted to go go to state Lopez made it um, there was the talent was uh, all over the valley and and everybody thought that they could make it so I remember the following year Rivera made it uh, unfortunately they didn't they didn't win that semifinal and then Lop uh, Porter made it made it in 2006. And it just opened the doors to 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 all of us uh, to yeah. believe that that we that it could be done. Yeah. So when I came, when I was hired at Porter, I was the reason I was hired because I was part of that state championship team. So you know, I owe a lot to Coach Scandon and to that uh, to being part of that Lopez team to all those players. And uh, when I was hired here at Porter, I remember I was told, "Do you think you can um, uh, take us to state? Yeah. Uh, in in three to four years and." You know, I, I, I honestly believe that I could. So when I came to Porter, we started working, and the, and the goal was always to make it to state. We 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 wouldn't make it to state. It was a it was a unfortunately for for us, right? But it was a it was a a failure. So we 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 practiced for four years. I remember with a we had a fresh, good freshman group, and we took it. We we started working together for four years, and we made it to state. But unfortunately, we couldn't we couldn't, and, and you know. Ironically, yeah. that, that final was against Lopez too. Yeah. So we ended up playing against Lopez, and we were able to beat him, but we lost to Ron Rock McNeil. We were without our main forward, which was uh, Alan. He was our main goal scorer, and that kind of hurt us a little. But you know, at, at that point, we were like, yeah, we'll, we'll make it back. We'll make it back, and we had we we did it. It took us five years to go back this year, and we learned a lot from that from that from that season. I remember that this year, we knew and and and, and we were. Taking care of all the little details, finding film on the other team, uh, preparing from nutrition, from recovery, 
from all that to try to be ready, mentally ready, mentally focused uh, for for that semifinal game game against El Paso. So it was very similar because we had a good, a very good El Paso team, which now became was was El Paso by but now became. Uh, uh, most of those kids are now at El Paso Eastlake, which is a new school. Yeah. So we were, I think, we were mentally, uh, physically, and psychologically ready for that for that game, and, and we ended up winning the game four to one, uh, which set us up in the final against uh, an undefeated team, which was uh, Wakeland, number two in the nation, also uh, very similar. And we, you know, we weren't given a chance to. We knew that we could do it, but uh, uh, from and <laughs> I know that the Valley believed that we could do it. Yeah. But. Uh, up north, uh, we'd hear comments or articles from uh, Houston Chronicle, and I was reading, you know, about it, and uh, to try to get more information on Wakeland, <laughs> and they practically were saying that that Wakeland was going to win the the state final. So that served as a motivation for us, and and you know, just the motivation that being you're there in the final, you're like 80 minutes away from a uh, from uh, bringing bringing back the trophy and winning a state title, at which you know, in just in Brazil. It's only it's been only three coaches that had had won it before, uh, so that was a motivation. There was only three teams that had won a state championship, and we could become the first school with two state championships, and that was a motivation. And then our kids were focused, and yeah. you know we were out there, and we we were so focused. We're, we I I remember people people tell me that the the whole uh, stadium was packed, and I don't remember having seen any of that. We we're just so focused on on the, on the game on the field. And luckily, you know, it was uh, one of, uh, I guess, in, in for, for me, one of the best games that we have ever played uh, that we that we have uh, been part of. And, and uh, we ended up winning in penalty kicks, we went 10 rounds each. And um, we ended up winning the championship, which, uh, again, everything I, I would have to say, everything everything started from that Lopez team in 2004, because it opened the doors to, for all of us to believe that that it can be done, that we can that we can also do it. And it's not only the Dallas teams or the Houston teams, we have the talent to do it. Uh, we we're, we're have smarter coaches now, coaches that know the sport. Uh, and, you know, it, it's just a, a way that you got to make the, your kids believe that, that it can be done and believe in your program. And at the same time, that Lopez team opened the doors for me to get this job that I have here at Porter. Yeah. So I think that's it on, on, on behalf of that. Hi, right, Enrique. Thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it today. Uh, well, you would have been you would have been a kid at the time of Lopez's title in in, in two thousand four. Um, how did that influence you? And and did you ever think you'd be on the same stage, kind of years later? Inspired me was that seeing Lopez become the first state champion in Brownsville in two thousand four was so amazing because if they could do it, we can do it too. So. I would like to be in there as a kid supporting Lopez or any Brownsville school because being part of Brownsville is it's like a family and mostly the sport that we all love, soccer, is a tradition here and like I'm so glad that we won state because it show, shows that Brownsville schools and all the Valley schools could do it.